Well, people in Platte City neighborhood were shocked to find 12 vehicles on fire this morning. While fire crews put out the flames, they discovered a body in one of the burning vehicles. Lisa Benson spent the day in Platte County and spoke to an owner of a burned pickup. Vehicle no idea. Dave no, Connell woke to the sound of thunder this morning and thought lightning had struck his brand new 2012 GMC Sierra. It's a 2012 with uh, no miles on it. It had nine miles on it two weeks ago. He was wrong. The damage wasn't natural. It was man made. His truck is just one of 12 vehicles that were set on fire this morning in a Platte City neighborhood. Unlocked my truck and when I, when I opened the door, smoke came out. I saw the big hole. And the burn spot. One of the vehicles set on fire also had a man's body in the cab of the truck. Investigators spent hours processing the scene and questioning neighbors. When the owner found the vehicle, there was heavy smoke inside of the vehicle. Um, and there was some level of fire uh, to the degree I don't know. We do know it's arson as far as w whether an accelerant was used or uh, just materials in the fire were uh, set on fire. Uh, that's under investigation. Investigators haven't said how the fires were started, but Connell says he locked his truck last night. I'm a retired federal officer. I lock my doors. His truck had no damage on the outside, so he's not sure how someone set his truck on fire or why. However, ATF agents and the Kansas City Bomb and Arson Squad are assisting in the investigation. Now, police believe the man found dead inside of that white truck started all 12 fires before causing his own death. Reporting live in Platte City, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.